I'm Bob from CWI Performance. I'm here to talk about our new billet intake manifold that I designed for the 7.3 Godzilla motor. So as we're doing continued engine development on the 7.3, we saw a need for an application for a intercooled, internally intercooled intake manifold. Kind of cool thing about it is when I designed it, I was able to make the intake manifold an inch and three quarters shorter than the stock one and straighten out the throttle body. So the stock Godzilla manifold, the throttle body kind of wants to stick through the hood. This one, I brought it down an inch and three quarters for our project car, the Foxzilla. So we already built a prototype one of these. This is a production model that we have tore apart um, just so I can show you the components and how it works. Works really well, so we've already tested it on the dyno. We saw 100 degrees of differential between the inlet temperature right out of the supercharger, in other words, the right out of the blower and the charge pipe, to where it's going into the engine. So 100 degrees temperature drops, really good. We're using the core out of like a 2022 Mustang GT500. This is a hopped up version of it. So it's the 81 millimeter hopped up core from PWR. Um, through VMP Performance. So this is a tried and true intercooler brick, so we're not experimenting, and these are good for spare parts. One note on this intercooler brick, make sure you run some sort of air cleaner or air filter or screen on the supercharger turbos, because if you get stuff bouncing off this core at a rapid rate of speed, it could puncture it and it would be really bad um, if you fill your engine block full of coolant while it's running. Um, so. This is a, a really awesome setup. We set this one up for an LS style throttle body. It's got dash 12 ORB fittings. Um, the whole thing with the intercooler brick weighs 38 pounds, which is pretty light considering all the stuff that's in it. Uh, made in the USA, we make it here at our facility. Um, it's made out of 6061 billet. We uh, thinned it up as much as we could to handle the pressures. Uh, maybe going into like 50 or 60 pounds of boost if somebody did that in a turbo application. This intake manifold is designed really for a centrifugal blower or a turbo application. So I'll get putting this thing together.